You're welcome. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Mr. McKee! Yes? I'm the guy you yelled at this morning. I need more. I'm the one who thought things didn't happen in life. Oh. Right. Okay. Nice to see you. I need to talk. Mr. McKee, my, my even standing here is very scary. I don't meet people well. But what you said this morning shook me to the bone. What you said was bigger than my screenwriting choices. It was about my choices as a human being. Please. Yeah. Well, you know, I could sure use a drink, my friend. <laughs> but a little fantastic and fleeting and out of reach. Then what happens? That's the end of the book. I wanted to present it simply, without big character arcs or sensationalizing the story. I wanted to show flowers as God's miracles. I wanted to show that Orly never saw the blooming ghost orchid. It was about disappointment. I see. That's not a movie. You gotta go back, put in the drama. I can't go back. I, I, I've, I've got pages of false starts and wrong approaches. I, I, I'm way past my deadline. Tell you a secret. The last time it makes a film. Wild them in the end, you got a hit. You can have flaws, problems, but wild them in the end, and you've got a hit. Find an ending, but don't cheat. And don't you dare bring in a deus ex machina. Your characters must change. And the change must come from them. Do that, and you'll be fine. You promise? Mr. McKee. <laughs> You taken my course before? My brother did. My twin brother Donald. He's the one who got me to come. <laughs> twin screenwriter. Yeah. Well, Julius and Philip Epstein wrote Casablanca. Ah, uh, they were twins. You mentioned that in class. Finest screenplay ever written. Mm -hmm.